Hey y'all, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be talking about Facebook's new Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. In this video, I'm gonna discuss the proper setup, why Facebook believes this can provide you better results than your standard campaign, and I'm gonna add my own opinion on how to best utilize this new campaign type from my own personal experience spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on the platform. I wanna remind you that not all ad accounts have this feature yet, and performance is not guaranteed. And remember, at the end of the day, Facebook is simply an extension of your business model. So if you have other issues that can be solved through creative strategy and conversion rate, optimization, you're going to want to make sure that you have that in place before implementing your strategy on Facebook. Advantage Plus is Facebook's initiative to simplify Facebook advertising. It also increases the algorithm's ability to provide you incrementally better results, and I'll show you how. And I also wanted to say, I don't think this is just to make advertising easier on Facebook for beginners, as a lot of people have talked about that. So the first thing you'll do to create an Advantage Plus shopping campaign is to click this Create button. Next, you'll select your campaign objective, and you'll want to select Sales and then Continue. Then you'll have this Choose Your Campaign campaign setup window pop up, which is new. You'll want to click Advantage Plus Shopping Campaigns and then press Continue. Now this is a much simpler setup than a typical campaign on Facebook. You'll notice that your conversion event, your pixel, and also all your placements are going to be automatically chosen for you. Now the reporting tab is the first thing that I'd like to point out. What this reporting feature does is it gives you the ability to include your existing customers in your account settings. This is why I believe Advantage Plus campaigns are so much better than a typical campaign, because you're able to have your existing customers be targeted within the same ad set as your product. Prospecting. You click this button, edit account settings, and then you're able to have a default audience that will be your existing customer lists or retargeting audiences if you choose to put that in there. And you can say that I wanna have, for example, 20% of my budget go to existing customers. This is really cool because essentially you can have everything consolidated into this campaign where you can target returning customers and prospecting in the same ad set. This is special because it gives Facebook a lot more data signals on who your audience is, which will help provide you better results faster. And remember, the machine learning is all at the ad set level. So the ad set is significantly smarter than a typical campaign because of this reason. Because of this, I definitely recommend having at least a five to 10% existing customer budget cap so that the algorithm can get conversions through those returning audiences. The last really cool feature is the suggested ads column. It says we recommend importing all suggested ads so that Meta can deliver the most relevant ad creative to each person. So this is essentially a way for Meta to automatically suggest your highest performing creatives that have driven conversion events in the past and then instantly copy them into your Advantage Plus campaign. This makes it really easy to get started. All you do is come in here and click this button and you can copy in and import your ads and then boom, they're right there. Now, if you want to upload other ads into Advantage Plus, but it won't let you copy them in, there's likely going to be an error. What you can do is just take the post ID of one of your best performing creatives and then copy that into Advantage Plus. That's the way that I've been working around the system because it won't let you copy ads from a standard campaign into an Advantage Plus shopping campaign, unfortunately. And using post IDs helps you retain social proof. So I highly recommend using that in general. Now, all you need to do to get a post ID is to simply highlight one of your ads, click preview, and then press share Facebook posts with comments. And then this is really important. Once your ad loads, what you'll do is press the date on your ad and that should change the URL to have post slash something. So everything after post slash, take that and simply highlight it, copy it. And then what you can do is go back into your Advantage Plus shopping campaign and you wanna click on the ad setup level, press use existing post, and then enter post ID under this ad creative section right here. Simply copy and paste that and then press submit. And now you have your post ID ad with retaining social proof in your campaign. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Really at the end of the day, this is just another feature that Facebook is rolling out to combat data loss since the iOS 14.5 update that has made it really difficult to have consistent performance in the platform. Facebook has been preaching for years now to consolidate your ad account down as much as possible. And this is Facebook's clear continuation of this concept. Now having an even easier way to consolidate your ad account and have as much learnings into one ad set as possible, which in theory, should help increase your performance over time if you're properly using the platform. If you like this video, please leave a comment on what you'd like to see next and also consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.